Yo guys, so welcome back to another video today. We're talking about Fortnite and H1Z1, my opinions on them. So first start off with Fortnite. Um, I've had it for, I don't know, quite a long time, maybe two, three months altogether. I say altogether because I've deleted it twice because it just pisses me off a lot. And it's the game, but it's also sometimes the people that I play with can be a bit dickheads and I know most likely they're watching this so you know but it's true and people like feedback so you know um, but the accuracy stuff like that it's pretty good I'm getting better all the time because I play it quite regularly it's on the daily but I wouldn't really like to play on the daily because it's not really my favorite game because I do have a lot more games that are like up there right at the top and Fortnite to be honest isn't one of them but yeah I'm pretty good in the game when it comes to like kills my kill record is 7 you can go watch that video it's 20v20 uh, it isn't too bad I guess for like a player like me who doesn't really play that much don't really have the V bucks and stuff like that but uh, yeah I can I'm pretty good when it comes to things like stealth if you want me if like say a few if the game wants me to come squads in top six that's easy I can do that top 12 easy I've I've got a video of when I came second in squads solo squads because I like doing that you know, just concentrate on yourself don't have to res anyone anything like that it was pretty sick and uh, I came second with an RPG and it was I was hiding under the base for a bit I didn't really know what to do so uh, I just blew myself up with an RPG to be honest which isn't the smartest thing to do I know that but you know I mean you got the objective you're getting the V-Bucks you're getting the Battle Stars you can't really complain can you and um when it comes to the like the controls and stuff they're pretty simple you can get used to them quite easily unless you've been playing other games and stuff like that or if you got something like Builder Pro, Combat Pro, which I do not have. The reason I don't have it, I don't really see the point in it. it just can't be asked. And like, I'm pretty good with my standard of how I play Fortnite. I um, my sensitivity is on six isn't too bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad either. I mean, it's pretty quick if I want to build quickly. But as you saw in my latest solo video. I'm not the best at building but you know it doesn't really matter as long as I get a wins time to time as long as I complete my challenges not too fast I don't really like the game because I just I don't see the point well I do see the point in Battle Royale game they're pretty you know they're all up there with all like this generation's people and stuff like that but but um it's just too much like the V bucks and stuff I'm not saying they cost too much I just don't buy them because I don't really see the point they're just aesthetics at the end of the day as it said they don't really do anything which for me I don't really see the point of wasting money on just clothes and stuff like GT Online I get because you're racing you buy like racing cars like the ETR one which I bought from V bucks is a pretty good car to be honest I sold it and then my account went to like yeah that's another story for another day but thing is the guns pretty good got a nice variety of guns especially the tech sub I use that whenever I find it whatever colour it's a decent gun if you hit your shots they're basically dead which is good for me because you know I don't like the pumps I think they're overrated all shotguns apart from the tech no one seems to like the tech that much which kind of annoys me because I'm a big fan of the tech when I say big I mean like proper big I don't mind if I land with the tech because you know they're pretty they're fast they do decent damage which you know and then the pumps I just don't like them because one shot you're dead that's good but my accuracy stuff like pumps it is crap and the reload time for me is not good for me the heavy shotgun it's good for like long uh, range shots but not it's not like the snipe well you could call it like the 
assault rifle of shotguns because it's quicker. I think it's quicker than tech, but too bad, so I couldn't really care about that. I don't. I'm not a big fan of the gun. Um, it's quicker and it shoots a bit longer range. So there's that, and then there's the SMG, the suppressed SMG. Now, if you land with this, you're going to be pretty angry. I know that, but me, not so much. I think that if you hit your shots, well obviously you're going to hit your shots because if you land with it, you're probably in a house in a confined space where there's not many that places to hide apart from like under the stairs. And if you hit all your shots, which I do most of the time, I can get those. I can get the kills most of the time. And then there's bursts. Not many people rate bursts that much. I do because I can get quite a few kills of them. I probably got about half my AR kill. Oh no, not half. A quarter of my AR kills are the bursts. And the FAMAS is pretty good as well. It is a slower rate, but then it does more damage, which I don't mind too much. But let's go to Hadron Z1 now. So it recently came to PlayStation, which I'm I'm alright with. I I wanted like a battle royale game that wasn't Fortnite because I just, I want PUBG, but because that's um Xbox only, just gets me angry a little bit. But to be honest, I'm not fussed. You know, we got H1Z1. Now controls wise, they're not that bad. I mean, you can get used to it pretty easily. Apart from changing weapons, I have I had to ask Nicky, Jarfly, if you know, I had to ask him what controller was it was L1. But to be honest, you wouldn't really know. I don't think it said in the uh, instructions instructions in the controls section. But to be honest, it's all right. The controls are good. The camera's good. I don't need to like adjust it to like better sensitivity to it or anything like that because there's no point the building and stuff and then there's and then there's the shooting I mean it's not the best like if it had the way that Fortnite shoots and aims like it's harder to aim on that game for some reason I'm not really sure why I just prefer Fortnite shooting to be honest that's the only thing of Fortnite I prefer and then there's the guns, they've got a nice variety of guns I think they are real life guns because they've got like AR-15, they've got crossbows, AK-47 Hellfire which I've never come across but to be honest they are like the tech sub of the game which is pretty good for me because in Fortnite I use tech subs very often I kinda get shouted at by like Kai, Hugo, J for like oh you need to carry another gun, well I don't well, I do, kind of, but you know what I mean. I hit shots, I get kills with the tech sub, and to be honest, they're all like the ARs and the snipers. I'm just like close range, I go in there and they cover my back. But the vehicle aspect of it is pretty cool, but near the end of the matches, the only reason you're alive, well, nine times out, eight times out of ten, I'll say, the eight times out of ten, the reason you're alive is because of your vehicle, and if you didn't have a vehicle, like a jeep or a police car pickup most likely you'd be dead unless you had like pretty good zone in like I don't know a city or you were camping in a pretty good bush then you probably wouldn't be dead or if you're a pretty good shot which to this I'm not I uh I came second which isn't too bad for me I guess once I came second once with a one kill but to me I wasn't really playing like properly if I guess if you'd say but it's not like it's not that I don't like the game but like, I like the game a lot more than Fortnite I rate it a lot more than Fortnite but until PUBG comes if PUBG comes to PlayStation I guess that's what I'm stuck with I don't really play it that much to be honest because nobody plays it that much let's talk about the lag on both games Fortnite's lag let's just say if you've lagged you'll know how it is like, let me give you an example. You're looting a house, you go upstairs, you lag. Next thing you know, you're downstairs, even once you're out of the house. And that's kind of it. Or if you do like a stair to heaven, most likely you'll lag off and die. Uh, but in Hatron Z1, it's. I say it's better, but it's also kind of worse in a way. Because you lag, 
like you're just say you're running like towards a house and then you lag and then you lag back about on no 10 paces 10 steps and then once you lag that happens about three times and then it stops and then it does it again so to be honest with the lag thing if you if you lag a lot then you're probably gonna get shot a lot because of the thing that the player who's shooting you is most likely going to see you in where you like lag spawn if you know what I mean so that is my opinion on H1Z1 and Fortnite I like H1Z1 a lot more than I like Fortnite even though I play Fortnite a lot more than I should because I like H1Z1 a lot more and it's just my opinion to be honest tell me what you like in the comments below um, tell me if you want PUBG to come to PlayStation or even if you have Xbox let me know what it's like compared to H1Z1 if you played H1Z1 because I I'm not sure but I think like the way it seems I've seen like Vic play it seems like I could play it PUBG it seems pretty good but I like the real life uh, real life aspect of it but let me know what you think of my opinion and let me know what you think of the two games and other battle world games make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one